facilities and services develop no-mow zones, where we just kind of let the turf grass grow. You know, there's several reasons for doing that. Um, you know, there's some environmental reasons where we're going to be we don't need to run the lawn mowers as much, um, use fuel, uh, create emissions. At the same time, that saves labor costs, fuel costs. Mm -hmm. We actually installed a, a small uh, prairie garden over by the vet med facility uh, last spring. We had uh, maybe I think almost a hundred volunteers out there on the on the on the um, plot throughout the day installing plugs, and uh, so now we've got a, a neat little uh, prairie garden over there. And we wanted to look at how we could take it to the next level. Um, so for years there was talk about uh, the strip um, over over back uh, between here and the, our building over there about. Uh, putting in a uh, um, you know, large prairie on the military axis. It was in some different forms of our uh, master plan. Um, but there were some, some issues to, to doing that. So we're looking at a little bit over two acres of land um, and we're looking at restoring that into a full native prairie. It's going to be a really neat, uh, really neat project. And, um, you know, everyone's going to be able to enjoy it. It's not just going to be students. It's it's kind of uh, in in urban neighborhoods, so people are going to be able to just walk through and walk in the neighborhood and walk through a prairie. And, and it's uh, it's going to be a really nice day. I think most people have been really supportive of the project. Um, we uh, we had some. Um, some students and others go around to the neighborhood and actually hand out little pamphlets talking about what's going to be happening, um, what the, what changes they can expect to see, so people would kind of be ready for it. You know, uh, most people have even been supportive of the no mo zone areas. There were a few comments from people about not liking how that looks, but I think it's an aesthetic. It's something that um, you know the values that are that kind of um, can supersede um, just the. The first first look aesthetics actually can start to inform how we how we view the world, what we view as beauty. And some of the people who didn't like the no mo zones are actually they are really supportive of the prairie because they know that's what it's supposed to look like. And